watching our poetry camera, so y'all stay tuned. This is gonna be fun. I was raised down in Louisiana, down on the black bayou, where we lack our swamps and alligators. Love our crawfish too. We got that feeling gumbo running through our veins. It's our feet dancing with. Hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Sando door. Dancing with our sweetheart and just letting the good times roll. We know it's got first and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a music and a thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We should have a good one today for you. We have a big trap here. We got a bunch of pigs coming out in this field behind the trap every afternoon. I think we had 25 or 30 pigs last night out in the field. We're gonna put a bunch of bait in this trap and I think they'll come in here. I'm gonna put some uh, molasses on the corn. I got some cane syrup that my good buddy Blake Gary gave me. We're gonna. We're gonna do the whole works. We're gonna get those pigs to come in that trap. There, we hadn't put bait in it, but they've been in the field, so it's not gonna take much for them to smell that. Come up to the trap. I got two cameras set up on it. All right, we got a Moultrie camera set up right here. This is gonna let us know tonight when to drop the door. It's gonna get a good look at him on this side and I have another camera on the other side over here. Okay, we have a hog boss system right here. So I can call this with the phone. We're gonna drop the door when it's full of pigs. And like I said, here's another camera. Another Moultrie. These are live cameras. So we'll get a different view. We can tell when the pigs are in there. And we'll drop the door tonight, hopefully. Let's go ahead and make some bait. We're gonna add this on top of the cane syrup. Okay, here I'm just putting more molasses on the corn and on the vegetation right here. So all the pigs are right there last night, 20 or 30. All they got to do is walk 40 yards. They're going to smell all this molasses, all this cane syrup on the corn. I got a feeling it's going to be on tonight. We'll be watching the cameras. We'll be watching our poultry cameras. So y'all stay tuned. This is going to be... Stopped at my buddy's pond. Lives right up by the camp. See if we could catch us a little supper.
Another one for the frying pan. We had Toby's house trapping pigs. We're going to fry some fish this evening. Oh, shit. Knock my beer over. Frying some brim tonight. Another one for the pot. There's Toby feeding his fish. That was a couple of huge catfish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop the door. There's at least two pigs in there. We're gonna text the number to the hog boss and hit send, it'll drop the door. I think there's at least two in there so okay some of y'all might be wondering why we didn't wait for the big herd to come well if you noticed it was about two in the morning uh, had to go home the next day so we, we went ahead and took these two pigs I'm definitely coming back for the big group of pigs so y'all stay tuned Okay, I tried to get out and get a shot at that pig, but uh, it took off before I could get a shot. All right, we got two of them. Let's go ahead and reset this trap.
There's not a whole lot of fat on this wild pork. But look at these nice chunks of meat. Okay, we're gonna pass it through the grinder. Uh, first, we're gonna season it real well. I wanna season it with cape red before I put it through the grinder. Just gonna help mix it up. Uh, we will season it later with some, maybe a little bit more garlic, uh, some taco seasoning. We'll put some jalapenos in there. We're gonna use a few different kind of cheeses. That's gonna make for some great burritos, so y'all stay tuned. Add a little bit more K-Fred. Remember, that's a lot of meat. I like it a little bit redder than that, so one more time. Probably about a half a can. Okay, that was roughly half a can and 15 pounds of meat. Beautiful. Right, let's get started browning the meat. Like I said, I probably have 15 to 16 pounds of ground wild pork. We're gonna brown it down real good. We're gonna add all our stuff. Y'all stay tuned for this. Here's our Gidry's fresh cut onions and bell peppers and celery. There's two of those. Thirty minutes in, cooking on a hot fire, trying to get it brown. Cook this down till you can't even see the onions anymore. That's going to tell us when it's ready to add the cheese, and we can add a little garlic. We're going to add our uh, taco seasoning. All right, we're gonna go put a jar. These are diced jalapenos. Put a tablespoon, two big tablespoons. Minced garlic. Yeah, I just tasted it. We're gonna add a little bit more Cape Red to it. Okay, I'm gonna add a few of these taco bags, taco seasoning. Okay, so we did add some Cape Red, uh, two packs of the taco seasoning, 
should be close. Mmm. It's perfect. Okay, it's a four cheese Mexican blend. This is a Rouse's. I'm gonna go ahead and put four of these. Can't have too much cheese. good stuff you know what we're gonna put another little jar of jalapenos in there I can taste them but not real strong I want a little bit more jalapeno flavor We're gonna do our first burrito, make one for my brother-in-law, Jeff. Very good. Pretty good, huh? Really, really good. Okay, I'm going to show you how I take them out the freezer and prepare them to eat. Go ahead and defrost them. Alright, this is only going to take a few minutes. Look how thin these are. But they're packed with meat. Give them a couple minutes. Okay, six minutes. Defrost it. First thing we're going to do in the microwave. All 
Okay, I'll put it in for 90 seconds. Alright, so this is the microwave. Look at that. And it's hot. That was a minute and a half. They kind of moist. Yeah, you can see the jalapenos in there. Tortilla is nice and doughy. <laughs> this is so good. We're going to eat all these up at the camp. Uh, I'll show you the second way. Put a little skillet with a little butter. We'll get the outside crunchy on that one, but I love the microwave one so good. Two different ways, they both delicious. Again, you can do that with beef, pork, just wild pork, delicious. Mm. All right, guys, thanks for watching.